Many of you have been sending me stories all day long about Kippen's Cares. It's a dog board and train facility in Hamilton in Ontario, Canada. And tonight we can confirm through local media there that two dogs, two dogs unalive within a matter of just days. Take a look at this. We told viewers about Cartello, a pocket bully puppy who died at Kippen Cares this weekend. Today, a second pet owner says her dog also died at the same business within hours of Cartello. I wake up every morning thinking, oh, I'm going to go see Sammy and we're going to have some pets and then we're going to go outside and they're going to have a pee. But she's not there. Cassandra Almeida says her six-year-old rescue, Sammy, was healthy when she dropped her off at Kippen Cares on Friday. So on Sunday, she went to pick up Sammy, but sadly... She had already crossed over the Rainbow Bridge. Now, he died at the facility over the weekend. Kippens allegedly stored the body in the freezer. In a statement sent to CHCH Today, Kippen said, I have no comment at this time. The death of Cartello is a tragedy, and my thoughts are with his family at this time of loss. She did not respond to CHCH's questions about Sammy. Kippen killed! Kippen killed! A protest was held outside the border's address in West Hamilton today with local dog walkers and community members calling for Kippen's operations to be shut down and criminal charges laid. When my dog came back, I have pictures. My dog had a rough looking nose. He was leaking from the eyes only after one stay. One stay. There's been a lot of other allegations as far as abuse, um, different animals going home soaked in urine or having ammonia on them or having staph infections or just bumps and bruises all over them. How many dogs have to die? Hamilton police said today that the Provincial Animal Welfare Service pause has jurisdiction over the ongoing inspection of this business. A spokesperson for Hamilton Animal Services confirmed that as of August 2023, Kippen Cares owned three dogs, but PAWS is responsible for removing animals due to abuse or neglect, and the city does not have authority in this circumstance. I hear the dogs like barking in distress and they're whining. Hamilton Animal Services says at least six administrative penalties have been issued to the business or its owner since 2021. They include operating without a license, failing to keep the area where animals are kept clean and sanitary, keeping more than four animals, failing to renew a dog license before it expired, failing to license a dog, and permitting an animal to make noise likely to disturb. A reminder to viewers that Kippen Cares is not permitted to operate a kennel. Hamilton Zoning and Committee of Adjustment confirmed yesterday. The owners of Sammy and Cartello are both pursuing necropsies in hopes of learning more about why, th about why their dogs died. Well, at last check tonight, no charges, though I have seen in multiple videos on different social media accounts that one police officer was escorting Jessica Kippens away from her house and from the crowds of animal advocates who wanted to get the message out to other people in the neighborhood that they say that she is a dog and a liver. So no word tonight about any charges or if she is going to be arrested or what. Stay tuned. This obviously, when two dogs are unalive within a matter of days and then put where they were, this story is not going away anytime soon.